In an industry where alliances shift like sand and technology leaps forward by the nanometer, the global semiconductor landscape is undergoing its most dramatic transformation yet. Are we witnessing the end of an era or the beginning of a new technological arms race? Keep watching to discover how this high-stakes saga will reshape the global tech landscape, challenging giants and rewriting rules. The past four years have witnessed a dramatic transformation in the technology landscape particularly concerning the rise of Huawei, which posed a formidable threat to American tech giants. In response to this challenge, the United States implemented stringent sanctions against Chinese semiconductor enterprises, setting off a series of events that have had far-reaching consequences. TSMC, a major player in the semiconductor manufacturing arena, discontinued the production of Kirin chips, while Foxconn terminated its contract manufacturing agreement with Huawei for smartphone production. At the epicenter of these disruptions stands ASML, the world's leading manufacturer of lithography machines. ASML's market dominance had long been buoyed by its close relationship with American technology and support. In essence, ASML was often likened to the adopted child of the United States in the global semiconductor ecosystem. In the wake of the Huawei ban, the United States extended its restrictions further by preventing the export of ASML's EUV or extreme ultraviolet lithography machines to China. This decision effectively brought China's semiconductor manufacturing process to a halt, limiting it to the 28 nanometer level. Initially, Chinese technicians visiting ASML facilities in the Netherlands had displayed confidence, asserting, even if I give you the blueprints, you still won't be able to manufacture high-end lithography machines. However, in a remarkably short span of four years, China managed to develop domestically produced 7 nanometer processing technology, a feat that took the American tech industry by surprise. As an old CEO, grappling with the rapid developments, expressed regret, acknowledging that the company had been overly complacent and recognizing the remarkable ingenuity of Chinese researchers. It became increasingly evident that if technology was not shared, China possessed the capability to independently research and develop advanced semiconductor technology. Even prior to Huawei's official announcement of its breakthrough, ASML appeared to have received insider information, aggressively courting China and striving to export DUV or deep ultraviolet lithography machines to the country. ASML's latest financial report for the third quarter of 2023 indicated that they had achieved 46% of their shipping target for DUV lithography machines, with the first and second quarters accounting for 8% and 24%, respectively. This underscores ASML's commitment to delivering DUV lithography machines to the Chinese mainland. However, ASML now faces formidable challenges to its position in the lithography machine market. Without access to ASML's EUV lithography machines, Huawei's Mate 60 Pro, powered by China's domestically produced 7 nanometer Kirin 9000s chip, stands as a worthy competitor to the iPhone 15 Pro equipped with a 3 nanometer A17 Pro chip. Furthermore, Huawei has ramped up its order volume for the Mate 60, projecting total sales to reach a staggering 505 million units while the iPhone 15 series has experienced a decline in sales. According to leaks from various media outlets, Huawei is gearing up to release its ultra-flagship 10 series chip and flagship 9 series chip next year, both leveraging 3D stacking technology. These chips are poised to match the performance of industry leaders like Qualcomm and Apple, signaling China's capacity to manufacture top-tier chips without relying on ASML EUV lithography machines. AZNL's position appears increasingly untenable in the coming year. Beyond mainland China, ASML faces threats from Japanese lithography machine manufacturers. A look back at ASML's growth history reveals that its success was fundamentally rooted in the intense competition between the United States and Japan in the semiconductor sector, with the United States eventually emerging as the victor. During that era, the United States established the EUV LLC alliance with ASML supplanting Nikon as the sole foreign company involved in the development of EUV technology. This move left Japanese semiconductor giants Nikon and Canon unable to access EUV technology, establishing ASML as the dominant player in the lithography machine industry. Yet, Nikon and Canon did not acquiesce to defeat, 
Canon opted to make substantial investments in NIL or nano imprint lithography technology, marking a departure from traditional projection based lithography to direct imprinting of microcircuit patterns onto wafers. Japan had long regarded NIL as the next generation lithography technology. Canon initiated the secret of development of NIL technology in 2004, unveiling it to the public in 2014. NIL technology offers advantages such as lower power consumption, reduced cost, and less pollution, albeit trailing behind EUV technology in terms of the manufacturing process. Recent developments have underscored Canon's commitment to NIL technology. Canon announced the release of the FPA 1200 NZ two seed semiconductor manufacturing equipment for NIL, boasting the capability to produce patterns with a minimum line width of 14 nanometers equivalent to a 5 nanometer process. With further improvements in mass technology, it may even reach the capacity to manufacture 2 nanometer chips. Several chip manufacturers, including Kisha and SK Hynix, have embraced Canon's NIL semiconductor equipment for their future production plans. Crucially, Canon's NIL equipment is devoid of U.S. technology, rendering it impervious to U.S. export restrictions on mainland China. This technology can be fully harnessed to manufacture high-end chips, potentially rendering ASML obsolete. These developments shed light on ASML's aggressive push to export its machines to mainland China. This is not just an ASML predicament. With the return of Kirin chips, American tech giants such as Apple, Qualcomm, NVIDIA, and Intel all face substantial setbacks. The era of American tech hegemony seems to be nearing its end. As the old saying goes, becoming an enemy of the United States is dangerous, but becoming an ally of the United States is lethal. This adage holds particularly true in the current context. The situation in the Netherlands serves as a prime example of this dynamic. The United States understands the leverage it possesses through its allies and has actively engaged countries like Japan, South Korea, and the Netherlands in its endeavors. Japan and South Korea, in particular, have historically aligned closely with the United States, following its lead. However, Dutch officials have expressed dissatisfaction with recent U.S. export regulations on chips to China, including the prohibition on exporting ASML Twinskin NXT 1930D lithography machines. This has raised concerns that appeasement only invites further aggression from the United States. As former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, once noted that becoming an enemy of the United States is dangerous, but becoming an ally of the United States is lethal. The United States has pursued a strategy of semiconductor alliances, encompassing countries such as South Korea, Japan, and Taiwan, to expand its own semiconductor production capacity. However, this strategy not only alienates China, the world's largest semiconductor equipment market, but also benefits its competitors, leaving allies dissatisfied. For instance, TSMC, while enticed by U.S. chip subsidies, faces challenges, including the exchange of core technologies and the high cost of establishing chip factories in the United States, not to mention the ever-increasing inflationary pressures. The so-called allied system appears to primarily serve U.S. interests. The global semiconductor landscape is in a state of profound transformation, marked by emerging technologies, shifting alliances, and geopolitical complexities. ASNL's dominance is under siege from both China and Japan, while the United States seeks to maintain its influence through alliances. How these intricate dynamics play out will have far-reaching implications for the future of the semiconductor industry, a crucial driver of innovation and technological progress worldwide. As we navigate these shifting sands, one question remains paramount. How will these dramatic changes in the semiconductor industry impact global technological leadership and innovation in the years to come? Feel free to share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section below. Don't forget to become a part of the Revel Discovery community by hitting that subscribe button to stay informed about the latest technological advancements and innovations. Remember, as we delve into the realm of technology, the possibilities are limitless, and the future is filled with exciting discoveries. Keep exploring!